this flight school is one of the largest in Europe, and when it comes to quality, I believe we are at the top. FTA is a global brand. You know, we've trained for all the major airlines in Europe and also in Southeast Asia. And very high standard aviation in the countries here in Doha. What we have found with the Diamond aircraft is that we're able to actually reduce the amount of training to be able to get them to that same proficiency. Our future pilots need to be flying aircraft that are in the 21st century. That's why Qantas has chosen Diamond. One beautiful evening, I went up in glider, and that was sort of the light bulb moment. I got on the computer, started looking up flight training options, discovered FTA. It has all those connections with the airlines, which really caught my eye. And there's a lot of people that want to be like Flight Training Adelaide. It's like an Academy Award winning flight school. We've gone from a school that probably was 130, 20 years ago to now two schools. This one here, which currently has about 350 students enrolled, and another school, which is the Qantas Group Pilot Academy. Currently, our biggest customer is Cathay Pacific, and they've been with us since 1994. Indigo Airlines, also a behemoth at the moment. We have 60 Diamond 40s, 12 DA-42s. Maintenance planning, the most important step to operating an efficient flying school. Having just one sort of fleet, obviously all your spare parts from the one supplier, even DA-40 share a lot of parts of the DA-42s. Diamond develop aircraft for a certain market that other manufacturers don't. None of them made a four-cylinder variable pitch prop fixed undercarriage with a glass cockpit. Diamond picked that market perfectly for us, so there was no second thoughts about what aircraft we were going to pick. For training, perfect, absolutely. What do I believe makes Diamond a good training aircraft? If I had to summarise a low maintenance airframe, off the shelf engines, instrumentation and props, and then from a quality of training perspective, it's the perfect feed in aircraft for people who are wanting to go to an airline. The aircraft has got an advanced cockpit, not dissimilar at all to what they will see if they go into an airline to go and fly an Airbus or they go and fly a Boeing aircraft. It's the seamless transition from single to twin engine aircraft. The benefit that Diamond had to offer is that we were teaching with increasing the skills we're teaching them, not trying to get them comfortable in a new aircraft type. That was one of my goals to get into an airline one day and a flight school that trains pilots for some of the world's leading carriers. I would like to fly for Qantas. I think it's just such an iconic airline. Qantas haven't had a fatality in their history. It's a huge part of why people will choose to fly with them because they've got that safety reputation. We have a really tremendous safety record and Diamond is part of that. It's a really safe aircraft to fly in and the incidents are so low compared to, you know, some of the older generation aircraft out in incidents. I think that's the selling point, to be honest. I live in one of the hottest countries in the world. It's really different flying in the desert. Here you really see the aircraft performance operating on its limits. Our position in Doha, Qatar, we're right on the coast and it gets very hot and very humid. During the winter is a beautiful time here to fly. In the summer, as the temperature goes up, it can reach up to 50 degrees. They're very dedicated to education in Qatar. Uh, focus is on the ATPL course, so it's to train future airline pilots. I'm the Director General of uh, Qatar Aeronautical Academy, a private pilot uh, since you now 15 years. This is really my passion, and also I'm, I'm training this academy. I, I'm graduate from here. And very high standard aviation in the countries here in Doha, starting from our airport, top in this world, and you can see this, and from Qatar Airways, of course we have to be meet this requirement. We have to be in higher standard, and we have to add the new tools to meet this higher standard of the aviation. Thought that we'd maybe renew the fleet, Diamond brought a couple of aircraft across, and we done some testing with it, and we was very impressed with the aircraft. We moved forward with, with purchasing 14 aircraft. One of our major concern is the fuel consumption because the old fleet was working on Afghan fuel. Here within Qatar and within the region, there is no Afghan fuel. We have to import it from Europe or from US. So the cost was very high. 
diamonds are a lot better on fuel consumption. They burn about 50% of the fuel, and then the fuel is about 50% of the cost. It's obviously available directly in Qatar. The Ostro engine that's fitted in the diamond is liquid cooled, so obviously that's an advantage when it comes to cooling. In fact, we've never had a diamond come back that was overheating. Coming into Qatar, all our fleet and all our customers' aircraft basically have air conditioning. The aircraft's done 500 or 1,000 hours, the air conditioning has as well, and it's been extremely reliable. We've never had to change any of the main components of the AC. When we approach into Diamond, we do a lot of studies. We create a committee from the specialist people from an academic. The student, uh, how do they transition from Diamond into the Airbus or Boeing or whatever they will be tied on? So in our old syllabus, uh, 186 hours uh, of flying training plus about an, another 70 hours of uh, simulator. And we found we needed that to actually get the students to a proficiency where they was good enough to go for the skills test. What we have found with the Diamond aircraft, because the, the fleet is so similar throughout, is that we're able to actually reduce that by about around about 50 hours of training to be able to get them to that same proficiency. Having this Diamond fleet, it makes everything a lot faster. It's actually really nice attending classes here in the academy because we are fortunate to have uh, the best uh, technology and the best equipment. The aircraft, they are the most advanced uh, maybe in the market for training. Where the Diamond fleet comes into play when it comes to this, it's a very modern aircraft. A person is more confident of their future. Qatar Airways is one of the biggest operators of the A320, and all our graduate pilots feel very confident on these A320, like starting their careers. All of these things make a very big difference what you came out with from your training at the academy. We have the best of equipment to offer. We have the new fleets of aircraft, the best in the world for training. So that gives us also the pride that we can deliver. And that also attracts students to us. We are located at Torp Airport outside the city of Sandefjord. So this is a nice area for, not only for flight training, it's a nice area to be in. When I was a kid, I traveled a lot with my family. And then I was first thinking, okay, I want to do something in regards to travel and uh, flying, but I didn't know if I could actually be the one sitting in the front seat, you know? <laughs> When I was little, we were at layover in uh, Frankfurt, in Germany. Lufthansa had just gotten their first A380. And uh, I was just standing there watching it. I was just a little boy and that just, I guess, flipped the switch. <laughs> the school made a decision, the focus should be to deliver airline-ready pilots. So we train our students in a way that is quite similar to operate jet airliner. Six years ago that we transferred from Cessnas to, to the Diamonds. And I think that was a really wise decision to take. Standards here are really high and the routines are really good. We have a cooperation with Japanese airlines and the reason they choose us is challenges with the, the weather, the terrain, uh, the Norwegian conditions, uh, which they think is a good experience to have. We fly and train in moderate icing here. The icing systems are used every day in a modern airliner. And uh, our students are used to, to use that kind of equipment. My very first flight, we had what was overcast 200, moderate icing. And um, so the very first time we had to actively use the DI system. I feel like I'm uh, lucky to get to experience or learn to fly in Norway because we have these weather conditions like places, it's very short runways, high mountains, it's difficult with the terrain. You have to do steep approaches and get a lot of challenges there. Some of the mountains can go basically straight up, and um, but normally in the, in the DF-42 that's not a problem. Look at our website with the diamonds, they look beautiful. So, so I think it's a good selling pitch for us to have. Instrumentation that we have decided to use in our DE-42s reminds of a modern jet airliner today. It's a small step from that one to the airline world. 
the simulators, they are identical to the DA42 they are going to fly, makes it uh, a lot better because they get used to the environment and they get used to the checklists and the flows. With a single lever, it's also just like operating a jet aircraft. So that's also something that I really like. Taking off uh, in the DA-42 for the first time, I wasn't really prepared for it to respond that quick when you said take off power and you really felt like you've been dragged towards the seat. They had upgraded uh, to DA-42, so it was like fancy new aircraft that's very relevant for the training to becoming a professional pilot. That was one of the things that I really liked about the school. You just feel, you feel more like a pilot and you're kind of proud when you fly a diamond. They like smile every time I add takeoff power. 